a local organization that's all about featuring female artists, recently held its 10th concert in a series called Women in Song. We caught up with the executive director who tells us more about their programming. We want dancing, yeah. We want running the streets, we want freedom. We've done now 10 women in song, Woo, 10 women in song shows, and four of them have been at Lula Lounge to celebrate Women's Day uh, in March. I'm the executive director and one of the co-founders of Fab Collab, a presenting arts organization right here in Toronto. And we primarily present women and gender diverse artists um, from many, many backgrounds. We founded Fab Club in 2020, actually in the summer of 2020, as a response to the pandemic and the needs that were arising for artists, but also for venues and all the, you know, production teams and admin teams, you know, everyone was, was out of work, as we know. So a lot of us in the arts community in Toronto, pr primarily in the music and dance uh, community, we came together and we created Fab Club as a way to both give audiences like high quality content, but also like pay artists well for their work. Uh, over the past few years, you know, we've had various programming, but now we've really taken like a global view of all our programming and launched our 2024 season, which is primarily in the first hat takes place in the in the spring. March, April, May. So that includes Women in Song that just happened. And then next up we have F for Flamenco, which is our first flamenco festival. Also focusing on women, uh, there are, we're bringing in artists from Spain. Also in May, May 24th is uh, Indigenous Grooves. It's our third. And the first one is at Lee's Palace. The, and then uh, last year and this year is at the new TD Music Hall, um, part of Massey Hall. And this is uh, an all women, a non-binary, all 100% indigenous artists uh, on the stage. And I can't announce the lineup yet because it's top secret. I'm so excited. It's incredible. We bring in some artists from across the country, some local artists, and it's a mix of like super traditional, like hoop, jingle, fancy um, dance, but also like more modern and more singer songwriters of DJs, you know, more hip hop, more electronic. We want the world to know. And that's another reason why we still live stream. It's international, it's accessible. We get messages from around the world like, oh, I didn't know that there was these like superstars in, in Canada. And I'm like, there, yes, there are. And I want, we want people, people to think of Canadian musicians and when we're traveling, singers, dancers, musicians around the world, we want them to think of what it actually is. Like. 